we like to use for a text this morning. He touched me. He touched me. We have to understand in this text, it's showing that King Uzziah died. King Uzziah was a good king. King Uzziah was a friend of Isaiah. King Uzziah had power. King Uzziah had might. King Uzziah had strength. But when King Uzziah died, he died. And then you find that God brought Isaiah to a vision. And in this vision, he came into Isaiah's mind. Isaiah didn't have to make a trip. Well, he just lifted Isaiah into a house that God had built. Right, 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 right. You have to understand how special that is. Yes, we have seen houses that men and people have built, but we have never seen the house that God built. All right. And here, as you understand, that the setting was that he was in the temple. And in this temple, there was angels. The angels had all the worship going on. They was crying out, holy, holy. Yes. Do you understand how special that is? Right. To recognize that we can cry out this morning. Amen. Holy, holy, holy. And then when we understand who we're crying out to, right. we have to understand that we have been touched this morning. Yes, sir. Every one of us has been touched. Right. The reason I'm sure about it, the science have did study. And they have did the study and they shown that an object at rest stays at rest, right. unless that object is moved, or unless that object is touched. Right. And if you understand that, the Lord touched you this morning. Right. He touched you this morning to get out of bed. Right. He touched you this morning to be able to walk around your house. Right. He touched you this morning to be able to come into the church. Right. He have touched you this morning. Not only have he touched you, he have touched some of your family members. Right. You have to understand everything has to be moved by touch. All right. We look at our minds, we look at what goes on in our lives, mm -hmm. and we realize that touch is not always something pushing us or moving us. Sometimes it can just be a word. All right. The wrong word can touch our spirit All right. and change how we feel about people or yes, change how we're feeling that day. Yes, Our touch is very important. So the Lord wants us to deal with who need to touch us right. and what need to touch us, right. how we need to be touched in our daily life. Right. Now, if we wake up in the morning and we realize that God has already woken us up, right. we realize that we have been touched by God. Yes, so whatever Satan tries to bring our way, whatever Satan has in store for us, all we have to know that God touched us. Right. He has given us another chance. He has given us an opportunity right. to praise him. And here we find that Isaiah was a man that realized that he had been touched. Mm -hmm. And when he realized that he had been touched, he realized that he had seen. Oh he realized that he had been with people with unclean lips. Yeah, right. He realized that people was talking the wrong talk. Yeah. He realized that people were saying the wrong thing. Yeah. Not only that, he caught himself. Yeah. He caught himself. He oh said, Lord, forgive me. Yeah. Because, Lord, I'm one of the ones that had unclean lips. Yeah. Do you have unclean lips this morning? Right. You have to realize that God knows everything that you say. Right. He knows everything that you think. Yes. So when you start saying things, and when you start criticizing and start not giving thanks right. to God that has woken you up this morning, right. who watched over you all week long, yes. who brought you into another Sunday service, right. and you don't have to lift to praise Him, you have to lift to praise Him. Come into his house with worship and praise. Yes. Coming from our lips. Yes. Not just coming from our heart. Yes. <clears throat> but a lot of times we don't have nothing in our heart. Right. We have all the things that the world has put on us last week. Right. We have all the things that the job has put on us last week. Right. Those are the things that we're bringing into the church. Right. That tell us instead of telling God, thank you. Satan is always trying to defeat us. Yes. 
realize if you go to a mental institution, it's because you stop believing. You stop trusting God. Right. And when you look at the news in today's paper, yes. you see where Whitney Houston had a problem. Yes. She had a problem with drugs. Yes. She had a problem with money. People yes. don't believe that, but she had a problem yes. with money. Yes. She had too much money. Yes. The money that she had led her the wrong way. Yes. And although she could sing about God, but she was just playing with God. Yes. You can't play with God. God 